Do you want to boost student engagement in Canvas without spending any money? I'm going to show you three free embeddable tools in this video. Hey guys, it's Lauren. Welcome back to my channel. I'm so excited today to share with you some freebies that you can use within your Canvas course to make your course essentially more engaging. I'm going to be teaching you how to embed free content. So first of all, what is embedding. Essentially, embedding is when you take an interactive or some sort of content from a website and you place it within Canvas in like a little window on a page, on an assignment. You can even do it within a quiz, but I'm going to show you how to do it within an assignment today. Ultimately, the biggest benefit of embedding content is you're keeping your students within Canvas. So let's get into this video and I'll show you some embeddable tools that you can use for free today. The first tool that I'm going to show you is Word Search Lab. So I have it as the first one in this Canvas module. You'll see it's an assignment, but it's completely blank. So I'm gonna come up here to Word Ser wordsearchlabs.com and you'll see here, I can either create my own word search by adding whatever words I want into this box and then it will actually generate. So if I click save, it will, oh, I gotta title it. We'll just title this one test and it will generate this word search for me. Now, I don't have to use this one. I can also find a word search, which I'm going to do. So I can pick through all of these different categories. Let's do something fun. We'll do like cartoons. And then you can see all of the words here that are in each word search. So I want one that's a little bit more simple. We'll do this one. So I'm going to click on this one. You'll see it's a little bit small, but that's totally okay. I am going to add this into Canvas and embed it by clicking share. Now you'll see I have a URL. I have a focus model URL, but I'm going to skip over those because what I want is the embedded code. So I'm going to copy this and then go back to Canvas, edit this assignment, and then down here I have two options. I can either click on the little cloud and paste it in here. That's option one. So I'll click submit to that and you'll see it will generate right there. Or the other option, if you like the HTML editor like I do myself, you can click on the HTML editor and it will take you here and you can actually just paste the code in directly like this. Now you'll see it is a bit small in here. And so I kind of want to make this just a little bit bigger. I can adjust the size. You'll see right now the width is 400 pixels by 500 pixels. I'm going to adjust this by changing it and we'll maybe we'll make it a little bit bigger. Let's do like 70% across the page and see what that looks like. So like it shifted over a little bit and then I can even make the height. Let's just make this 600 instead. And so now it's shifted a bit and I can also within the P's here, if I add a style, I can actually do text alignment and we're gonna do it center. And that should, or maybe it's text aligned. Is it aligned? Let's see if that worked. That didn't work. I can also just click that. There we go. Did it change? Text align. There you go. So now you can see here the window. It is 70% across the page. You can kind of get a view of that when it's highlighted. And then we'll click save at the bottom. And you'll notice there you go. I have my word search lab. Now I can click and drag. So we can, let's see, here's mini and it crosses out mini, which is awesome. So you can keep going, do Donald. And then there's options to submit this. The students can either print this out and it saves as a PDF, which they can then file upload. They can take a screenshot, multiple options of this kind of submission. Or of course you can just embed this on a page and make it a fun activity. Next up, we have Padlet, which I am sure if you are an educator, you have used Padlet in some sort of way in your classroom, but you can actually embed it into Canvas. Now, of course, there is a free version of Padlet and there's the purchase version of Padlet. I'm showing the free version. So of course we have in Padlet.com, all of these different activities to choose from, which is awesome. So you have slideshows, resource boards, brainstorming. I'm gonna choose the brainstorming board. And we're going to do, oh, I like this scavenger hunt of photos. So we're going to create this one. Here it is. So this is my
my scavenger hunt that I want to have within my Canvas course. So how I'm going to do this is I'm actually going to click that share button and then we'll go to share and you'll see here it wants to either like embed in your blog or website. The website is going to be Canvas. So we'll select this. We're going to copy the board, the embedded code, and then go back to Canvas, click edit in our assignment, and then have the same options again. We either go to that cloud button and paste the code. Or again, what I like to do is go to the HTML editor and paste this in. And so now when I come back, I should have the scavenger hunt ready to go for my students. We'll save this. We'll take a look at what it looks like. And so you can see here, this is the photo scavenger hunt. If I undo it, it kind of expands it a little bit more. Padlet is a great collaboration piece within Canvas and students can just start clicking and adding their content directly to this board without having to leave their Canvas course. That's the goal, right? We don't want students always constantly leaving Canvas to go somewhere else. Okay, this next tool is a throwback to when I was a young middle school student. Uh, I'm giving probably my age away there, but it's Microsoft Paint. Microsoft Paint is still available as a URL. So you'll see here this, again, it's giving me really fun memories. So you can embed this and then students can draw and do whatever within their Canvas course. We actually have to apply some code because we cannot just just click share like we did the last two tools. We're going to open my HTML editor code key here that I'll leave the link in the description below for you guys to access. But once you download it, you should get access to my code key here. This table of content, I do have the slide where you can copy and paste directly the Microsoft Paint code, but I wanna show you that you can get creative and embed other websites that don't have the embeddable shared option. So if I go to an embed website, which is slide 19, you can see I'm going to copy this code here and where it's highlighted, I'm going to replace the link. So we'll go into Canvas. So here's MS Paint. We're going to click edit. We're going to do the same thing. Go to the HTML editor this time though, and we're going to paste in the code and I need to change out this link because I don't want boomlearning.com, I want paint. So I'm gonna copy this URL right here and I'm going to paste in that new URL link. So now we have the width and the height set We'll see how that kind of looks, which actually doesn't look too bad. And then um, I'm going to select it and center it if it'll allow me to here. There we go. And then we'll click save. And now you can see here, which is great for students. They can start clicking away, drawing. Ooh, I don't know why I like to draw like in cursive. It's, you know, it's about Valentine's Day. So I'm in the love mood. <laughs> <laughs> but now what I can do if I'm a student is I can actually file save this. I can save it to my computer as a PNG and then upload it as a file upload to the speed creator. So really fun, creative things that you can do with embedding so many different freebie tools into Canvas. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope that you found these free tools to be really fun and something that you'll incorporate into your Canvas course. If you want even more ideas on what to embed in your Canvas course, I actually have a list, like a library of other free applications, websites, interactives, all that fun stuff. So if you're interested in that, just let me know in the comments below and I'll send you the direct link to that. I would greatly appreciate it if you found this video helpful to leave a like, subscribe, stick around for a while because I got plenty of more Canvas content coming your way. All right, guys, I'll see you on the next one. Bye.